Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we bring to life the fascinating tales from all around the globe. Today, we're delving into the ancient folklore of Japan, and bringing you the thrilling story of, the Ogre of Rashomon. Sit back, grab your popcorn, and get ready to be captivated by the brave exploits of a warrior. Named Reiko and his loyal knights. Set in Kyoto, a city gripped by fear. Our story begins with a dreadful ogre who haunts the gate of Rashomon. The ogre, a monstrous cannibal, seizes anyone passing by the gate after sunset. Now, in Kyoto lived a valiant general named Reiko, famous for his brave deeds and his victorious attack on a band of ogres. One evening, while Reiko's courageous knights were feasting, they discussed the chilling rumors of the ogre. One night, Watanabe, emboldened by the disbelief and doubt of his comrades, decides to investigate the matter himself. That very night, he rides off to the dreaded gate of Rashomon. Armed with his sword and an unwavering spirit, the night is stormy and pitch black, which makes his mission even more ominous. Arriving at the gate, he finds no sign of the ogre. With a sense of triumph, he places a piece of paper, signed by his comrades, on the gate as evidence of his visit. Just as he's about to leave, the ogre appears, and a fierce fight ensues. Watanabe, true to his reputation, fights bravely, and manages to cut off the ogre's arm, forcing it to flee. Watanabe, though disappointed at not capturing the ogre, takes the arm back to his comrades as a trophy of his victory. Fast forward to an unexpected visitor, an old woman claiming to be Watanabe's nurse. She pleads to see the ogre's arm. Watanabe, initially refusing, eventually gives in to her earnest requests. The plot takes a shocking turn, when the old woman suddenly seizes the arm and transforms back into the ogre. A swift battle ensues, but the ogre, narrowly escaping, Watanabe's sword, flees through the roof, taking his arm with him. Though the ogre never returned, Watanabe's brave deeds have lived on, reminding us of the hero, who once rid Kyoto of its fear. And that, folks, was the exhilarating tale of, the ogre of Rashomon. Join us next time for another exciting journey into the world of folklore. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.